Okay, so hello and welcome to the next episode of Cyber Potato, where I'll be showing you how to build the app to share the ideas with React.js. So I'll be using real API uh, with authentication, with with uh, delete, post, and get methods, and if you'd like to get one uh, for yourself, you can go to um, Kelvin My channel, and there he has the the series where he shows how to build this API with uh, with Nest.js. And I'm not a backend developer, really. So I literally followed along uh, on what he did. And yeah, this way you can set up and run uh, and learn how to create an API uh, on your own. Uh, I built mine and I deployed it to Digital Ocean. Unfortunately, I won't be allowing you to use it because that will that could skyrocket the the bill, and I don't want to pay it really. But uh, other than that, if you build the this API or find any other API that you'd like to use, I will show you how to create a real React app with authentication, navigation connecting to the more complicated API and stuff. Okay, so let's get the show on the road. Uh, I'll be using Yarn and I'll be using TypeScript, uh, but you don't have to if you don't want to. And I'll start by, because I never remember it, checking out Create React App with TypeScript. And I want this, okay? Uh, so, yeah, and I'll be calling my application uh, bounce it because you know it's like bouncing the ideas around back and forth. Okay, so this should prepare almost everything that we need. Yeah, I'll also be using uh, TSLint to check for, for errors. We'll be using hooks, we'll be using styled components and access, of course, uh, but the styling isn't really the most important part of what you're doing here uh, in the beginning. I just like to build something and, and, you know, get it going. So, yeah. And we're almost in, are we? Um, okay, yeah. Okay, so done and done happy coding that's great let's change to bounce it and let's open editor here let's see if this can close okay so um i will start by adding a ts link configuration uh, if you don't know what ts link is uh, it's basically the linter hooked up with TypeScript that will check um, some of the rules that we're providing. I'm providing the uh, the plugin, um, the configuration for the plugin regarding the hooks in React, but I also need to install it if I want to use it. And this is, this is, 
going to terminal and say yarn add mm, this is ts lint react hooks dev and i'm adding this dash dash dev flag here why is that because this won't be the package used by our app after we build it and after we sent it to the client this is a package that only helps us during development so you see that the packages in the de dependencies in package json are split in two sections dependencies and dev dependencies so this part this is the part where we are we are installing the dependencies that are just helping us during the development process and this uh, these are types these are things for linters stuff for testing and so on and here you have the dependencies that are really being used by your application and here the types should really be i'd say here rather than in normal dependencies okay but let's get this going yarn start to trigger the start script and we should see something soon okay so this will be the standard template that that the create react app offers nothing fancy here okay and 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 we will start uh, does this work yeah it does work we're building the authentication module and i mean the um, login page and the the uh, register page okay so let me see this is just standard react bootstrap this is app okay all right all right all right okay so i like to keep my stuff organized that's why i will create the alf folder and here i will keep everything regarding regarding the authentication the components the, the the pages any kind of helpers stuff regarding the the api so let me start by saying login page and i say tsx it's like jsx but this time it's with typescript okay uh, and this shouldn't be too hard so I'll start by simply saying that I'm gonna use React from React uh, and I don't need it anyway. Okay, and I would like to return some JSX just to test stuff. And this is gonna be login page okay all right and let me render that here so instead of app I'm gonna render low uh, i'm gonna export it to make it visible for other modules okay and here login page okay okay this looks nice okay it seems to be working so let me start with um, some structure in our jsx what i'm gonna need is a form 
okay this is because this is going to be our login form and then label html4 and i'm going to specify the username and this is going to be username okay so what is label label is uh, this part of markup that you can use to describe the inputs and um, and in normal HTML5 um, code you'd have four attributes here but this is JSX and that means we are in JavaScript or TypeScript domain and the four is of course the keyword reserved for using while we were doing loops that's why this attribute is renamed from for to HTML4, just to avoid the naming collision. Okay, then I have an input placeholder uh, placeholder of seriously username value. We'll specify this soon. Tm the label HTML4 is going to be password. Of course, this password. Uh, the um, input is going to have placeholder, of course, of password. Uh, and I can say that the type is password and this yeah this is going to well, this is going to make that abstracted from any person that may look above your shoulder okay so those dots are here because I specified type password in the input and I'm gonna need a button of type sub submit. Uh, yeah, same login. So this is pretty much my form right now. I'd like to change it just a little bit. And since I like to style it, uh, oops, I didn't want to do that. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Since uh, I like to style it, I'm gonna use I'm gonna add style components. Style components. Yep, and I'm also going to add the types for styled components and bubble plugin for styled components. So I'm going to do yarn at mm, this is a type styled components and bubble plugin styled components and these are dev dependencies okay so let's add those okay and here I'm gonna create our components ts just to create my form so from site component naturally I'm gonna export const our form I'm gonna be style style form uh, I want everything to be spaced out uh, vertically so I'm gonna display flex align items center flex direction gonna be column width is gonna be of 50% and margin gonna be zero auto 
and then I'm going to just replace it with our form here and here. Okay, let me see. Yeah, that's way better, way more professional. If you can see, say that. Uh, okay, so now it is time to. I don't need that. Do I? No, I don't need that. Let's delete that. Um, now it's time to create our 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 state. Yeah. Okay. This is gonna be easy. I hope. Uh, so I'm gonna need. Can I get this? Oh yeah, uh, I have those snippets from uh, ES7 React Redux GraphQL React Native snippets, and these are really cool because I can just do that and say credentials. Initial state here is gonna be that username is empty, and password is also empty. Uh, yeah, we have to import it. Okay, now it's fine. Uh, also, I don't need credentials as an object. I'm gonna unpack it to be username and to be password. Okay, and then I can make this work saying that value is username and on, on change I'm gonna call event set credentials and I'm gonna say that the username is event target value and password is going to be password so i need to preserve the state here that's we're repeating the password there are better ways to do it but let's hold with that thought for now okay and then value here is of course password and uh, on change is going to be pretty much the same with one little change saying that this is going here okay and yeah and we're done pretty much now This should still work, and now it should go through our state. Is it true, though? Can we, can we check it? Yeah, we have the value, okay. We have style component, we have login page, we have state. But it's not showing much yet. Are there any better dev tools for for react now with hooks or are we waiting for them to get better okay so yeah this is pretty much it uh, this is how you can create simple form with react and hooks and i'll see you in the next episode bye